Today, we are making a poke ball poke bowl. Here are the ingredients you will need. Let's do this. First off, we're gonna slice a sweet onion or a shallot. Next, let's slice some green onions. Let's get a small bowl, add our chopped up onions, one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, one half tablespoon of sesame oil, one half teaspoon of chili garlic sauce, one half teaspoon of roasted sesame seeds, and our chopped green onions. Now we add our sushi grade ahi tuna, which are cut into cubes. Next, let's put this in the refrigerator. Now let's take the rice out of the rice cooker. Before we add the fish, we must make sure that the rice is totally cooled down. For the poke ball budget, let's make a little rice ball in the middle. Wet your hands, put salt on it, grab some rice, and shape it into a bowl. Now that everything's cooled down, let's add the fish. Next, we need to outline the poke ball. You can either use seaweed, as I mentioned, or you can use something like furikake, which is rice seasoning. And there we go, check it out. A poke ball, poke bowl. My body is ready. I'm in poke heaven. Mm. I feel like doing a poke wrap. Do bad prime me meow. Onyx, Geodude, Rapid Dash, Magneton, Snorlax, Gengar, Tangela, Goldie, Spearow, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Golem, Pikachu! So good. Super effective. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gatsby's allergies have gone from bad to worse. His skin is super red. I made an appointment for the vet we're gonna go today so we can see what's going on. I thought it was the food, maybe it's something else. So sorry, dude. the gym, see you guys there. Got an idea. I want to ride my Ninebot while hatching some Pokemon eggs on Pokemon Go. Let's do that right now. My egg will hatch soon. Oh, it's hatching, it's hatching. Woo! Got a Snorlax, that's awesome. Mission complete. Okay, 
right, let's open up some more mail. From Lee Ann from Centryville, Virginia. Brittany from San Jose. Jack from North Dakota. Kayla from San Diego. Joshua from Hawaii. Jordan from New Jersey. Skylar wrote this book on ramen recipes. Victoria Wong from Singapore. Ryan, hope you enjoyed these food items from my two home countries. Enjoy. She gave me full instructions too, so I don't know how to do this. Thank you so much. Gatsby's coming over. He's like, this is for me. I know. From Samantha. Thank you, Samantha. Gatsby loves his fish skin jerky. Look at this. Yeah? You like it? I came in like a wrecking ball. Thank you so much to everybody who sent us stuff. Make sure if you want to send us stuff to check out the P.O. box in the description below. Gatsby, are you ready to go to the vet? Yeah? Here you go. How did it come down to this? Going through your call list. I don't want to lose my pride, but I'm a cork me up a dog. We're a little early, so we're going to stop off at the gas station right now, filling up on some gas. 3087. Vet time! Quirky on the scale. Guess me, weigh 26 pounds. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on. Twice a day. The vet looked. They said that it's definitely not fleas. We'll have to think about that and see what we're going to do and what our options are. But for right now, we got some medication, so it'll all clear up in about a week. After that, we're gonna have to decide what we're gonna do if we're gonna test for allergies. We'll have to think about that and see what we're gonna do and what our options are. Anyway, we're gonna head back home now. Another thing that they suggested, which I think that anyone can do, is actually put coconut oil in the dog's food, just a little bit. That'll help them fight off a lot of these kinds of infections in the future. Yeah, Gatsby, and you love coconut, so that'll be a plus for you. And really quick, let's check out the aquarium. Everything looks really good. I know in the last vlog, some people were a little bit upset that I had to kill the crab. The thing is that nobody would take the crab because it's considered like a nuisance crab. No one wants a crab that's gonna kill all the fish and eat all the corals. The next thing people were suggesting was that I release it into the wild. That is the very, very, very big no-no. <laughs> it could become an invasive species or it transfer a lot of different diseases to all the wildlife and just totally obliterate it. Just FYI. The vet says it's okay for you to go outside and meet your friends. Do you want to do that? So whenever I walk with Gatsby, we get tons of attention. Everyone's always like, oh my gosh. It's so funny because this time when I was walking someone was like, oh my gosh, so cute. And then a woman's like, look, he gets that a lot. <laughs> So we've got Gatsby's medicine here, which we are supposed to give with the food. Add some fish oils. I'm gonna add a new flavor, coconut oil. Start with one teaspoon. Ooh. For most dogs, you can just give the pills in the food. Unfortunately, Gatsby, I tried that so many times, he just eats around it and spits out the medication. So what I need to do is the old fashioned way is you just stick it down their throat. Gatsby's really good about it. Swallow, please. Swallow, please. Good dog. And pretty soon, Gatsby, you'll be back at it again with the white paws. Since I made poke for lunch, I'm going to be grabbing some food for dinner. Hey. hey. So we're going to eat guanas, and are you going to get a burritozilla? No way. A five pound, 18 inch diabolical hunger killer. Do you play Pokemon Go every day? Every day. That's not even the Breedozilla. So the Breedozilla is like, oh, half? Super good. Done. But more impressively, Sean's almost done with his full burrito. 
YouTube group. That's ridiculous. Who's gonna win this time? Back for a rematch. Place your bets now, Gatsby. Okay, are we ready? Gengar versus Blaziken. I'm gonna win. Lick, lick, lick. Yeah! Dang, Counter! Uh, Shadow Sneak! Woo! Hypnosis! Yes! Yes! Okay, this guy's serious. <laughs> no! Go Lapras! Go! Sir! Yeah! Yeah! What? Yes. What? Yes. Final round. Final round. Go. Yeah. Go. Dead. Oh, dead for sure. Oh. You're still alive. Oh no. Excelente! This is for me out. Yes! So, I guess we know who won this time. Dup de do. Dup dup. Hopefully now with the proper help gets, we can finally start to get better. He'll be happy to not have to wear a cone, even though he likes the cone. <laughs> if you'd like to check out our t-shirts, make sure to go to corgionfleek.com. I believe that Spreadshirt is running a promotion right now, so you can get a little discount. Other than that, we're gonna head to bed. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Good night. This crab must go. I knew something was wrong when I noticed everything on this rock would die. He killed my two Banga Cardinals and ate them. So many coral pieces in my tank. I have no idea where he came from unless he hatched from an egg. Let's try some frozen mysis shrimp. I'm gonna fill this up with water, stick 